Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully you have someone to love you. If not, beer and liquor will love you back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but today is going to be an action-packed day. Uh, we have, uh, once again, two boats. Hopefully they're actual full-size catamarans. Um, it's going to be interesting to make the second one, so we may actually have to get a taxi to rush us there so we don't miss the second one. And we're already off to... Uh, a slow start our driver was supposed to be here about 10 minutes ago and apparently he's delayed uh, another five minutes so we're gonna be already running late to the first one let alone the second one so hopefully we'll make it there and in case you're wondering why last yesterday's video was a little short is we are using an Olympus waterproof camera to do all the uh, snorkeling in, uh, in the water stuff that unfortunately I don't have my uh, SD reader uh, so I can't add it to the the main video uh, but I will do a bonus video with all the uh, snorkeling and waterproof camera action at the end all right so we're finally on the bus 25 minutes late but now they can't leave without us all right so here's our next adventure Now this is gonna be an all day catamaran. It's from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Snorkeling, beach, lunch. So hopefully two, two rum punch is apparently the catamaran that we're gonna be on. Thank goodness. Morning. Bad, not bad. I like that it has a dinghy. She was in the basket over right back. All right, here's a little tour. And the alcohol is back there. That is Port Amsterdam, where we were the other day. Okay, guys. So we're going to let go of the jib here, the, 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 the sail right here. All right, so we are on our third snorkel stop. This is obviously a very popular one because there's already a ton of people here. And up there is New Amsterdam Fort that we saw a couple days ago. Let's go first one. All right, so we just went snorkeling. This was our guide. So right over there, underneath there, there is a helicopter and a submarine. It's a cool cave. They have tankless snorkeling over there. So you're just attached to a big hose with the helmet. This is a full snorkeling or a first uh, dive. But we're almost done with this excursion. 
now we need to get back by four get a taxi and head back to a beach over that way over that mountain mountains by 4 30 so should be fun this is cool little agave plants show how it's done so we are humidor hmm. so it looks like we are back at the place from yesterday and this time it looks like we are actually going to be on the catamaran uh, by the looks of it there's like 40 people here so it's going to be a tight pack can't wait but at least we made it here on time all right here's our next adventure that's where we were yesterday five years and then we do that. No, no 35 years and you divorce. <laughs> really, Lynn? Peter, you didn't tell me you divorce. What happened, Peter? <laughs> oh, she will after this boat trip, I see. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. If you're not too sure what the answer is, we'll do best to make something. So this is the Sunset Cruise. Drinks and snacks are included. And we get to watch this beautiful sunset on Valentine's Day. cruise all right so this is our final thought every time we travel we do like to do a little breakdown of our thoughts um, of the place that we visit uh, these are not uh, scripted they're literally off the top of our heads um, just kind of likes dislikes uh, suggestions uh, and opinions uh, we try not to offend anybody with them. Uh, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Uh, but for St. Martin, what do you think? Um, I like it. Um, I 
guess we'll do the pros first and then I'll do the cons after. Uh, pros, everyone here is super friendly, super nice. Um, we've never had any issues or seen any issues with um, anyone being mean or anything. Uh, they have cute little stray dogs occasionally walking around that are super friendly. Um, so that was kind of nice. Uh, another con, uh, pro actually. This is a tough part, part about doing it at the top of your head. Um, I'm just going to go with the cons next because that's what I can think of. Um, cons is it just seems like every taxi ride was like $20. <laughs> so um, if you're just doing taxis, it can be a little expensive. Um, so on the flip side of that is we do suggest renting a car. Um, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but you can kind of travel whenever, wherever you want and not have to worry about trying to get a taxi. There's tons of taxis around, which is awesome. We haven't really had any issues um, finding any taxis. They're usually pretty easy to find. Um, second note is also sometimes when you do research and you kind of see where everyone else has traveled to in St. Martin, a lot of people said um, Simpson Bay is kind of the go-to. Just make sure that you are checking what part of Simpson Bay. Uh, technically, we stayed in Maho, which is not necessarily Simpson Bay, even though it looks like it's part of Simpson Bay. Um, so we suggest maybe staying in Pelican Key. That kind of seems uh, the major hotspot where there's a lot of bars, there's a lot of restaurants. Everything is walkable. Um, where we stayed, it was further, which is why we had to take so many taxis. The weather was beautiful, which is a pro. Um, I don't really know. I think that's kind of all that I really have to say about it. <laughs> okay, so the uh, going off the weather. Uh, so, have you ever been to Florida? It, it kind of has that feel because it will rain, uh, but it will only it'll downpour, but it only downpour for like ten minutes, and then within fifteen minutes, you're back to full sun. Um, so the, the weather was actually uh, pretty good. Most beaches that we went to, uh, the sand was very nice. I do like that. Um, the people were definitely great. Uh, taxis are very, very expensive. Um, and they do, you can almost talk, you know, you, what, I, what I learned is you go up and say, this is where I want to go. Before you get in the, in the taxi, how much is it? Because a lot of times, uh, like even you, they'll, everybody will give you a business card and be like, "Oh, just call us, we'll show up." But then when you, when they show up and you ask them how much, and they're like, "Oh, it's twenty dollars," I'm like, "Well, no." <laughs> oh, fifteen. Okay, well, fifteen. Um, so that the taxi was uh, one of the biggest things. Um, the The food is kind of all over the place. Um, you'll find something that you like. Uh, we just had dinner and it was like a, a gyro gyro place, um, but it was uh, like it had Indian spices in it, uh, so it was, it was a little different. Um, there's a lot of alcohol, you know, obviously rum. Most drinks are pretty reasonable, but the food is definitely expensive. Um, $14 for a burger is about average between... 12 and 14 is about average for a burger. Uh, you might be able to get like the happy hour specials. Uh, we went to Buccaneers. Buccaneers seem to be all, in, in general, all great, you know, drink prices, great food prices, uh, depending on when, you know, most of the time when you were there. Uh, the beach was very nice. We, we happened to be there a lot. That's Pelican Key. Uh, the area that we're in, uh, Maho, by where obviously everybody comes in for the airplanes, it is um, extremely expensive. <laughs> There's just no way to get around it. Like everything is very expensive. So if you're thinking you're coming here and you're getting, you, you know, if you're staying in the in this area and you're getting like cheap food and cheap drinks, might be able to get cheap drinks, but not cheap food. Um, so I, overall, I, I did like it. It was a great experience. Um, we definitely got a lot of color today from being on two catamarans. 
uh, the one thing that really surprised me was the discrepancy between the locals and the ridiculous millionaires uh, that there are here. Um, they had, uh, they told us of the uh, CEO or the owner, whatever, the main guy for Victoria's Secret, couldn't fit his yacht in here, so they just built him a marina. And you can tell, because these are, you know, 50 million, 50 million, $100 million yachts, and there is a lot of them. And the discrepancy is that the, the marinas are built for these billionaire yacht people, but they, can, you know, the, 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 the infrastructure isn't there. There's no sidewalks, the roads are very small, there's, no, there's very few stop signs. It, there, there's a very big discrepancy that you can clearly see between the big yachts that are constantly stopping traffic with the bridges going up and stopping all the locals, and, and then the locals just, you know, trying to get to the next day, you know, having to uh, put aside everything for these, you know, yachts that are really contributing as much as they should towards the island. And if anybody tells you that St. Martin is small, it is massive. It is definitely a lot larger than we anticipated. So yes, running a car is uh, a good idea, but keep in mind their roads are terrible. They're really small. Half of them are dirt roads, um, and there's a lot of speed bumps that are not labeled. So overall, uh, I would definitely recommend coming here, but keep in mind that you're gonna be paying for everything and if you don't rent a car which you know it, unless you have great driving skills um you want to make sure that you're going to be you're going to you know go somewhere close to where um you know where you want to be because taking 20 15 10 even 10 dollar taxis just to go down the street uh can be a little excessive but uh hopefully you liked all our videos uh i know some of them were seven minutes some of them were almost 40 minutes it really depended on what we had um there's going to be a bonus uh video coming up in the next day or two um and after that we are going to show you downtown toronto and the uh auto show the toronto auto show uh which if you've never been i think it's actually um personally I think it's better than the Detroit one, uh, and I've been to both at the same year, uh, and I personally like the Toronto one slightly better. Uh, I know that might not be the greatest thing everybody wants to hear, but I, uh, you know, we'll, we'll uh, do the video on that. But for now, Jenna and Carlos, uh, wishing you good health, good travels, uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.